Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another edition of Hilal Live. Thanks for tuning in on channel 347. Also on our live stream, www.hilal.tv. It's finally here. The All Stars Nasheed Showcase is happening tomorrow night at the Artscape. We're very excited uh, on behalf of Hilal TV to cover this event. It's going to be all the top Nasheed groups in Cape Town that's going to put their best foot forward. Some of the groups that will be taking part tomorrow, we'll have Sota uh, Rehan, we've got Aswatul Islam, uh, Kulubun Noor, and also uh, Kowatul Islam as well. And uh, to tell us more and to set the scene of what it's going to be like tomorrow, we've got two uh, of the groups or the members of the groups in studio. First, I'd like Wad Ali from uh, Kowatul, uh, Kowatul Islam. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah for taking the time and coming to join us. Really appreciate it. No problem. It must be so exciting. I know we can't wait for this uh, to happen tomorrow. And then from uh, Kulubun Islam, we've also got Zamir Sangle. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Shukran for having us. My absolute pleasure. Now, for those that don't know too much about the group, so Brother Jawad, tell us a bit more. How did you get into Nasheeds? Where did this all start? Um, my journey started in about my first year of high school mm -hmm. when I didn't actually go to high school. I went to the Hif department and I immediately enrolled there. Okay. And they were all always into Nasheeds. When, when it was break time and we didn't sit with our Quran anymore, yeah. it was immediately into Nasheeds. And then I joined up in the group there. And once I went to high school, the, I saw that the, it was the same feeling, the same buzzing, mm. but it was just a different place with different people. Right. And I immediately got pulled in that direction by, no matter how I tried to stay away from it and focus on my school, uh, I just got pulled in that direction. And once we did the competition in our Azir, um, we were too sad to be leaving each other. The right. brotherhood was already created and we couldn't leave it. And alhamdulillah in 2022, when I matriculated, we created Quwat al-Islam mm -hmm. to create our own platform so that we can spread our message as well. Alhamdulillah. Now, um, the group, how many members do you have in your group? We are a total of 10 at the moment. And you, you pr you're probably so close. You know, you guys are probably besties at the moment. Inshallah. I wish it was, as always. Um, Sometimes there's a bit of conflict, sometimes there's a bit of hardships, but right. in the end we always come together okay. and we always share a meal or we always laughing about something. The group is always buzzing and that's the main thing that I love about our group. Brilliant. What about you, Zabir? How did you get into Nasheeds? I remember the last Nasheed competition, the high school competition. Yeah. I interviewed you last year. Yes. And um, which school were you part uh, of? Oracle. Oracle Academy. Oh, you were part of Oracle yes. in Ottery. Yes. And, and how do you find it now being part of a group? Um, how many people in your group? So we are 13 boys. Wow. Alhamdulillah. And I think the the group was formed based on the Nashi competition last year. Okay. So um Alhamdulillah, for myself, the, the love for Nashi grew after me being part of last year's. And last year was actually my first year being part of a, a, a Nashi competition. So, Alhamdulillah, the, the love for Nashi has grown since then. Mm -hmm. And Alhamdulillah, I grew. I, I was part of Kulubun Noor uh, two weeks after it was formed. Okay. Um, and the brother in the group is something else. Mr. Humbling. Gangrika from Oracle must be so excited uh, yeah, uh, that you guys are, are flying the Oracle flag very, Humbling. very high. Humbling. Now, the, um, in preparation for tomorrow's event, um, how did you guys go about preparing, Samir? Yeah, so we, we started preparing quite a few weeks ago. Okay. Um, been practicing two or three times a, a week uh, for long hours. Right. Alhamdulillah. And one thing that I admire is the, the unity between the different, the different groups. Mm -hmm. um, people from different backgrounds coming together for one purpose, which is uh, you know, praising the Prophet Muhammad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alayhi wa sallam. So it's just a, a lovely sight to see. Mm. I think that's the winner right here, is that we have like-minded individuals that are now have a common cause as well. What was the preparation like for you guys? It was quite the, the time, time crunch. Okay. Um, we were informed about the All-Stars and there was a bit of like, how can I say, everyone wanted to do the Nasheed right. and we came to a consensus after, but it was uh, still running around and it was very, very um, difficult to get 
everything sorted. We were practicing day in and day out and Brilliant. the stress and the levels were, it was high. Yeah. Everyone was very stressed about the event because it's a very big event, mashallah. And it's our first time performing in such a huge platform. It's a beautiful venue. The beautiful artscape, venue. I mean, wow. uh, you know, we have wonderful performances mm. there as well. Uh, we're close to 600 people in, mm. in this auditorium as well. So that's going to be very exciting. I mean, look, you guys have performed for bigger. I mean, City Hall, mm. you know, that yeah. accommodates about a thousand people. Yes, yes. Um, without giving away too much about the event that's going to happen tomorrow, what can we expect? You can definitely expect uh, mind-blowing uh, renditions of Nasheed, of course. Mm -hmm. However, there will be a bit of storytelling, if I can say that. Okay. Um, so it takes our viewer onto a journey? A journey, yes, 100%. Uh, it's not your average Nasheed evening. Mm -hmm. It's more of a storytelling where you are a part of the show. Right. You are experiencing everything happen from point A to point B. There's mm -hmm. no actual sit. It's a timeline, and you are with that timeline. I like that. It's a different uh, take on Nasheed's than we used to as well. Um, what are you looking forward to for tomorrow? Oh, I think uh, just seeing the... So I don't want to spoil it, but there will be uh, collaborations within the, the group. Okay. But I'm excited to see the, the unity within mm -hmm. the, the groups coming together. Okay. I'm excited for that. Okay. And I think, I think the audience can... Uh, <laughs> they must... Uh, Tune in. Be ready. Yeah. yeah. Those be ready. Okay. Buckle up and it's going to be yeah. a ride, mm. definitely. Um, for those of our viewers that are watching, and we've got a lot of youth that would like to take part in Nasheeds, but they don't know where to start. You know, they, they're not sure who to approach, how to go about it. What advice would you have for them? I would say um, number one would be um, listening to the, the other. Uh, Nasheed groups and gaining the love for Nasheed mm -hmm. and once you gain the love for Nasheed you will want to do it with your friends mm -hmm. with your family you want to bring them in and creating that sense of relationship with another brother mm -hmm. by know th knowing them through through Nasheed mm -hmm. that will also help you to to love the Nasheed uh, to, mm -hmm. to love Nasheeds as a whole more mm -hmm. um, so what I would say is Get as much friends as you can. Get right. them together. Yeah. See what uh, talent they have. Right. And maybe start in a she group. You never know where, where you will go in the future. Good advice. I like that as well because um, people, they, they love watching Nasheeds, but they yeah. don't know where to start. They don't know what to do. Um, and also it boosts your confidence, Definitely. you know, mm. performing in front of people. Mm. As a, a group, you know, do you guys do other events? Do you perform at uh, other gatherings? So we do um, any type of gathering that we are requested to uh, based off the request itself. Okay. So we've done market days. Um, We've done vicars, we've done actual big stage performances. It truly just depends on what you want from our services. Mm -hmm. And we will just accommodate uh, based off that, inshallah. Okay, so like um, vicars and, and, and um, you know, special functions. Mm. We love our functions in Cape Town. So you guys are probably booked out. Mm. Uh, um, quite a bit, yes. We have a busy schedule, but we're always available for... Um, events. Events. Alhamdulillah. And yourself, have you, have you been performing? Yes, uh, Alhamdulillah. Um, a lot of the guys are still... Does the aunties come up and pinch your cheeks? Oh, no, 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 okay, no. Not yet. Not, not yet. <laughs> but uh, but um, a lot of the guys are currently writing exams now also. So for them, um, we, we we have been taking um, invitations for, for us to perform at uh, Nashi, um, for at the girls or whatever the case may be. But um, Alhamdulillah, actually after this event on, on tomorrow night, mm. we have quite a, a busy schedule. Nice. Yeah. That's good to know. So I should get your autographs now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah. Mm -hmm. So we're very really excited about tomorrow. We're very excited. Uh, I know you guys are going to give us top class performance. I mean, the Nasheed um, groups in Cape Town, they've really set the bar. Okay, with um, regards to, you know, around the world. Who do you listen to uh, um, in terms of Nasheeds that are or local and internationally? Yeah. Okay, um, I, can, I, don't, I don't have to ask who internationally, <laughs> but I mean locally and internationally. Uh, uh, locally, um, my two favorites would obviously be the, the big brothers of Nasheeds, um, Saud Rehan and Khuddam Islam. Right. They have really set the bar. They, of course. They were there when Nasheed wasn't even thought about in Cape Town, especially, mm. and they brought it up from when it wasn't really anything here. And they are when we, basically most of you start taking notice of it. Mm. So they are 
truly someone to admire. The groups, Khutam um, Islam and Sutrahan, I've always admired them and looked up to them. And internationally, of course, we look at Abu Shad yeah, and the Mishari, obviously, he's a very, his group, very me melodious and mm. soft. Mm. Where Abu Shad is very strong, Absolutely. powerful. They have many different type of those, those guys are on a next level. Another I mean, levels. you know, uh, you know, you can't help but actually sit up in your seat and go, mm. wow, oh, you know, how do they do that? You know, uh, and what about yourself? Who do you listen uh, to? I would agree with Brother Jawad. Uh, locally, Sultan Rehan and uh, Khudam Islam. Alhamdulillah, we had the privilege of um, performing with Khudam Islam at the uh, 10 year anniversary. But globally, I would say Abu Shar and Al Marashli. Brilliant. Yeah. Brother uh, Jawad, Brother Zamir, it's been an absolute pleasure. I am looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully I can speak to you guys just before the event. Get an update oh. if you're not too nervous <laughs> and if you have the time as well. But no, all the very best for tomorrow. Sure. We're looking forward to it. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much. So there we go. Tomorrow night, uh, do join us on Hilal TV from about 7.30, inshallah. It is the All Stars Nasheed Showcase that is happening at the Artscape uh, Theatre in uh, Cape Town. We'll be bringing all the action live on Hilal TV. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, uh, we continue with Hilal Live.